Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use team projects now available to all Adobe Creative Cloud users. And I'll ask the question, is it possible to use Adobe Premiere Pro as an audio editor? Let's find out. Let's hop into Adobe Premiere Pro right now and look at the title screen we get when we first boot it up. Uh, this is something that sneaked in under the hood, actually. It's been Adobe Video World all this week. And yesterday I watched a keynote speech from Patrick Palmer, one of the product managers for Premiere Pro, and he dropped that team projects are now available to all. Look at this right here, new team project. Uh, so no matter whether you've got a standard Creative Cloud account, team or enterprise, you're not just restricted to team and enterprise accounts. Anyone can create a team project, and it's pretty amazing. It means you can make changes, and then someone else, 100 miles away, 1,000 miles away, can make a change, and it all updates and keeps a record. It's fantastic if you're collaborating with producers. The only issue here is it's not available for Adobe Audition. Boo-hoo! If you'd like to see team projects available for Adobe Audition, do click the link below this video and add your voice so that we can hopefully one day collaborate between producers on team projects. But I asked the question in this video, is it possible to maybe use Adobe Premiere Pro as your primary DAW and edit audio rather than video? Well, let's find out. Let's create this team project. I'll show you how team projects works and I'll also find out if we can use this as an audio editor. So we'll give it a name. Let's call it Music Radio Creative. That's pretty standard. And I'm actually going to invite a collaborator here. Let's edit and we'll type in either a name or email. So Isabella, uh, let's invite Isabella into my first team project inside Premiere Pro. There she is. Click, invite, boom, invite pending. She'll get a notification now on her Adobe Creative Cloud uh, desktop app, which is fantastic. So now that is set, let's go in and let's set this up for audio, shall we? Uh, so first of all, I'm going to go to the audio workspace up here and see if I can use only Adobe Premiere Pro to edit audio. You might actually find some benefits to doing this. For instance, Adobe Stock Music and audio is integrated in Premiere Pro, but not Audition. So you might actually get some perks out of this. If you're creating a podcast intro, for instance, all of this Adobe Stock audio can be used. So let's find out what we can do. Right, this is all a bit confusing and overwhelming. We don't need all these windows. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is create a new sequence. So I'll go to the editing workspace now, right click here, new item, and we'll cr create a sequence. Now, of course, we've got all these presets, very, very overwhelming. Well, we'll just go to digital SLR. Really doesn't matter the resolution because of course, we're not making video here, we're making audio. So I'm gonna pop open 1080p and I'm gonna go for DSLR 1080p 30 frames per second. What is important is to go into the settings and check the audio box here. Okay, so we've got sample rate. This is super important. Most video projects are 48,000 hertz, but if you're working with podcast, audio, radio imaging, stuff like that, it should be 44,100. So change that over. You can also change the display format to audio samples or milliseconds. Uh, we'll change it to milliseconds as in Adobe Audition. That's what we're used to, right? Okay, so far so good. Let's click OK, create that sequence. And there it is with milliseconds showing up there. Now, one other thing you can do, if you right click, you can click show audio time units because usually in Premiere Pro, you're editing in frames and there are many more audio samples in a frame. Uh, so we can find that we're dragging across and missing cuts and it's, it's not accurate. But by simply right clicking and saying show audio time units, now we have a timeline that looks like Adobe Audition. All right, fantastic. So far, so good. Hope you're still with me. Let's go to the audio workspace, back where we were, and let's rearrange all of this. First of all, up here, let's find our media files, and we'll go to Media Browser over here. Then we'll look through, and I'm going to look through actually my disk here, and I'm going to go into uh, the Producers folder here, and we'll find uh, the library, Imaging Sound Effects, here we go, and one of our Music Radio Creative Imaging Libraries is here. We can actually click this icon to create a list view, and then go into Wipes, for instance, and you'll see, there you go, there's all the audio, as you'd get it in the media browser in Audition. I can actually go ahead and make this a little bit uh, bigger, so we can stretch this a uh, different way if we want. Let's actually uh, undock that panel pop it over here and stretch it all the way down here. So now we've got like a, uh, we've got a massive uh, audio file here. Unfortunately, you can't seem to stretch this box any bigger, which is rather unfortunate, isn't it? But 
you'll see most of the audio is here. Now I've got too many video tracks here, so uh, let's get rid of those. Let's right click on the sequence over here. And what we'll do is we'll delete the tracks and we'll delete video tracks, all empty tracks, leave the audio tracks. Unfortunately, you're still left with one video track. You can deselect it if you like, but it's always gonna be there. Uh, we can then go in and add some tracks as well. Let's add tracks and we'll add say three more audio tracks. So we get something that resembles a multi-track in Audition because of course you've got six and for some reason it adds another video track again. Uh, so let's delete that track. There we go. So now audio one, two, three, four, five, and six. We do not need uh, the video window at all. So we can actually close that panel, get rid of it completely. We can keep this mix of view if we want. It's actually quite handy, but I'm actually gonna stretch and make this a little smaller uh, so that can go up like that. Now we can focus on the audio. If we click on these audio tracks, what it will do is it will actually start making them bigger, but once we have audio inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring in a wipe and pop it there and bring in another wipe and pop it here. Okay, one thing you'll notice, first of all, I'm gonna hit the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out on the sequence here. You'll notice that yes, this is very snappy. It all snaps around. Click the S key on your keyboard or hit this magnet icon to switch off snapping. And now you've got a fluid kind of multi-track move about uh, here in Premiere, just like you'd get in Audition, which is really good. Right, let's double click, double click on all of these audio tracks here. And what this will do is create a rather nice, let's see, there we go, a rather nice track. And I don't wanna record any voiceovers just yet, <laughs> but I will be doing that in a second using this microphone icon here. Okay, that is a little bit bigger. We can actually go and budge this up. Let's see if we can get this video track right out of the way so we can really just focus in on the audio. And look at that, video track out of view now. Okay, I'm feeling really good about this. I wanna bring in some Adobe stock music. Uh, let's find this track, let's have a listen, see what we've got here. So this audio is now playing back, although I can't hear anything till I fade it up, there we go. There's some light music, isn't it? And we've got our sound effects playing as well in sync. Let's play this one, in awe, that's quite cool. We've also got positive, and we can just scan through until we find something that we want to use. Summer wood, let's try that. Okay, the best thing about this, when you find a track you like, you can drag and drop it immediately into your Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. It'll bring in a low quality version. And when you're ready to license it, you can click the checkout icon over here, or you can simply right click and select the license here, and it will bring up the Adobe stock uh, integration to immediately license it and bring a high quality version. But while you are working, you can work with a low quality version of the audio. You can even make cuts, edits, crossfades. You can send it as a low quality sample to a client for them to confirm that that's the track I want. This is phenomenal, right? Uh, before you go ahead and make some changes. So let's go and sync this up. I'm gonna zoom right in and see if I can use the Premiere Pro timeline as an audio editor. Bringing that swoosh to the start. And yeah, we just wanna get that nice and on sync. So let's go back here and yeah, you can even scrub along, which is great in audio. I love this. So let's go here. Let's bring this in over here. We can actually turn on snapping now to snap this to the timeline. Perfect. So that should be a nice swish in. Perfect. Okay, and we got another swish here we can use at some point. Now this is the point where I might go to audition and record a voiceover, but no, you can also do this in the timeline of Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm going to go ahead and click the record button and I'm just going to simply say a few words. Welcome to this podcast episode, a brand new podcast all about using Adobe Premiere Pro as an audio editor and using the fantastic Team Projects feature now available to all Adobe Creative Cloud users. Stop the recording there and you'll see my voiceover went boom, straight into the track. I can actually play that back and have a listen. Let's see if we've got anything. There we go. Okay, let's make that a little bit louder. So let's play this again. Welcome to this podcast episode. A brand new podcast all about using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, what I might do now is just stretch this marker out so we get the whole timeline. And I'm actually going to do a few fades using the pen tool in Premiere Pro. So that's P or this little pen icon here. And I can go ahead and I can duck this music myself. There is auto ducking, of course, in the essential sound panel. But for simplicity here, I'll just... Welcome to this podcast episode. Let's make that a, a bit 
Louder. new podcast all about using Adobe Premiere Pro as an audio editor and using the fantastic Team Projects feature. Now and then we'll just place this at the end over here somewhere. Let's pop it in there again. Nice. Available to all Adobe Creative Cloud users. Okay, now you can obviously hear I probably need a little bit of compression on my voice. This is where I can now go up here to my audio mixer. Uh, let's actually make that view uh, a lot bigger so we can really see what we're working on here. This is the audio clip and audio track mixer. And I can pop this open. And this is just like the effects rack in Adobe Audition. I can go to audio track two, which of course I can rename. I can call this audio track VO for voiceover. There you go, VO. And I can call audio track one, maybe let's label that as SFX. And let's, uh, let's label track three as, oh, why not call it music? There we go. Now we've got nicely labeled tracks. So I can actually go ahead and bring this up here, leave that swish up there. If I wanted to move that correctly in time, switch the snapping back on back up to the top there we go snapping off now we're good so we know the vo track needs a bit of work so we'll go into the effects panel here and we'll add on some stuff that i usually do like a bit of parametric equalizer that's another cool thing premiere pro has all the same audio effects as audition uh, which makes it super easy to uh, transition to for audio editing um, and then i'm going to go ahead put on a high pass filter Let's roll that up. We can do it in real time if we want. We can play the audio back and listen. Welcome to this podcast episode. A brand new podcast all about using Adobe Premiere I'm going to put Pro some high end on. audio editor and using the fantastic Team Projects feature now available to all Adobe Creative. Okay, we just notched a few effects there. Obviously, I'm doing this roughly so you can get an idea. I want to add on some compression. I can easily do that. Amplitude and compression. Dynamics. And then we'll double click here. And we'll switch on, first of all, the compressor. Threshold of minus 20. We'll put the ratio at 3 to 1 to start with. Maybe we'll need to turn up the makeup gain. Welcome to this podcast episode. A brand new podcast. And we'll actually use the limiter to make sure I'm not peaking. Podcast all about using Adobe Premiere Pro as an audio editor and using the fantastic Team Projects feature now available to all Adobe Creative Cloud users. Okay, fantastic. That swoosh at the end is a little bit loud, so I'm actually going to bring this down. Let's move it down by about five, minus 5 dB. Adobe Creative Cloud users. Still a little bit loud, so again, on our timeline here, minus 9 dB. Creative Cloud users. Okay, something really cool. Now, as you can hear, the, the track just gets going there, so I can make an edit. Yes, this is Adobe Stock Music, but I can edit it even without licensing it. This is amazing. Okay, let's take that little bing at the end and use that to kind of round off my podcast intro. Then I'm going to save this out as a team project and show you how Isabella could go ahead and take this on and make an edit of her own choice. Uh, okay, let's make the cut there. And we'll do a little bit of crossfade in a second. Bring that in. Now available to all Adobe Creative Cloud users. Okay, could have been a much better edit, <laughs> to be frank. Uh, let's move it in over here and see how that sounds. All Adobe Creative. Okay, obviously we're going to need to bring that down in the mix, otherwise it's going to sound awful. All Adobe Creative. That's not too bad. Then I'll go into effects, and here we can actually drag on clip effects if we want. All the audio effects you need are here, reverb, modulation, filter and EQ, the stuff you're used to in Audition. I'll just go ahead and look for constant power because this is Premiere Pro's equivalent of a crossfade. Whack it in there. Uh, maybe change it using my uh, highlighter here. Just make it a bit smaller. And all Adobe Creative Cloud users. Okay, now let's go ahead and close out this team project. And when you do that, they ask you if you want to share the changes you've made. Of course, I absolutely do. It's got a list here of every single change I made to my project so that uh, my collaborators can see what I've done. And I can see basic podcast intro. Please make it better. Share. And then boom, it's gone from my end. Now Isabella can go ahead and open that, make her changes. And when I reopen it my end, I'll be able to make further changes if needed. Okay, Isabella made a quick change and she actually went in and added some reverb. I can see this represented by an arrow, a sync arrow here saying, Isabella Russell has shared changes for this asset. And then if I look on my timeline down here, you'll actually see the purple effects icon here uh, indicating that a change has been made. And yes, indeed, I can see if I go to the editing workspace that reverb has been added to this file. This is absolutely fantastic. So this is Isabella's change, her update. Let's play it back and have a listen. Welcome to this podcast episode, a brand new podcast all about using Adobe Premiere Pro as an audio editor and using the fantastic Team Projects feature now available to all Adobe Creative Cloud users.
Really, really cool stuff. I'm happy with that. And you can see over here as well, by the way, there are icons uh, demonstrating uh, who is using the project. I'm the owner. I'm online. If Isabella was also online working away on this, she would pop up here and we can share back and forth. It's really, really amazing. So for the time being, work in the timeline, the sequencer area of Premiere Pro and edit audio. It is possible. Obviously, it's not as elegant and as advanced as Adobe Audition. And sometimes you can pop clips open by right-clicking and clicking Edit Clip in Adobe Audition to do some advanced changes, noise reduction, restoration, but you'll see pretty much you can get there and you can make basic audio. But what about mixing it down? That's the key thing. Premiere Pro is for video editors. Are there any audio presets? Well, good news. If you go into File and then you go to Export and then Media, you can actually go ahead and select Wave, Waveform Audio as your setting there, and you can select a preset here as 48 kilohertz. I wouldn't suggest that. I'd suggest again 44, 100 there. And then you've got something nice and custom. You can save it. You can render it out as a WAV file. It's fully possible to do the whole workflow. That's right. You can actually get audio into Premiere Pro, edit it in audio sample time rather than frame time. Uh, and you can even render it out and collaborate. So pretty much there is the chance to use Team Projects for audio until they please, please Adobe, bring it to Adobe Audition. Uh, if you like this and you'd really like to see it in Adobe Audition, highly encourage you to click the link in the description to this video and ask Adobe to put team projects into Audition as well. Music Radio Creative dot com